Good afternoon, everyone, and happy hump day. <clears throat> August 24th, 2022. I wanted to say 22nd, but I knew that wasn't right. And I'm reading in the book of James, and <clears throat> needed to wet my whistle. Wowzers. Having a lot of issues with the congest congestion from my heart issues. Although, according to my readings, I should be hunky dory and optimal and run around like, you know, just saying. Anywho, I already read first chapter and I feel the need to read it again and upload it. And I'm not sure if I'm going to keep going, but we'll see how I do. So the Epistle of James, chapter 1. James, the servant of God and of the Lord Jesus Christ, to the twelve tribes which are scattered abroad, greeting. My brethren, count it all joy when ye fall into diverse temptations, knowing this, that the trying of your faith worketh patience, knowing this, that the trying... Whoops. <laughs> but let patience have her perfect work, that she may be perfect and entire, wanting nothing. If any of you lack wisdom, let him ask of God that giveth to all men liberally, and upbraideth not, and it shall be given him. But let him ask in faith nothing wavering. For he that wavereth is like a wave of the sea driven with the wind and tossed. I feel like that sometimes, don't you? For let not that man think that he shall receive anything of the Lord. A double-minded man is unstable in all his ways. Just let me give, I sometimes I feel like I'm a, a ship just in the sea, just floating along, <laughs> more like a sailboat with some rocky seas and some. A double-minded man is unstable in all his ways. Let the brother of low degree rejoice in that he is exalted. But the rich, in that he is made low, because as the flower of the grass he shall pass away. For the sun is no sooner risen with a burning heat, but is withereth the grass, and the flower thereof falleth, and the grace of the fashion of it perisheth. So also shall the rich man fade away in his ways. Blessed is the man that endureth temptation, for when he is tried, he shall receive the crown of life, which the Lord hath promised to them that love him. Blessed is the man that endureth temptation, for when he is tried, he shall receive the crown of life, which the Lord hath promised to them that love him. Let no man say when he is tempted, I am tempted of God, for God cannot be tempted with evil, neither tempteth he any man. But every man is tempted when he is drawn away of his own lust and enticed. Then when lust hath conceived, it bringeth forth sin. And sin, when it is finished, bringeth forth death. Do not err, my beloved brethren. Every good gift and every perfect gift is from above. And cometh down from the Father of lights, with whom is no variableness, neither shadow of turning. Of his own will be God he us with the word of truth that we should be of kind of first fruits of his creatures. Wherefore, my beloved brethren, let every man be swift to hear, slow to speak, slow to wrath. For the wrath of man worketh not the righteousness of God. Wherefore, lay apart all filthiness and superfluity of naughtiness, and receive from meekness the engraved, engrafted word, which is able to save your souls. But be ye doers of the word, and not hearers only, 
deceiving your own selves. For if any be a bearer of the word, and not a doer, he is like unto a man beholding his natural face in a glass. For he beholdeth himself, and goeth his way, and straightway forgetteth what manner of man he was. But whoso looketh into the perfect law of liberty, and continueth therein, he being not a forgetful hearer, but a doer of the work, this man shall be blessed in his deed. It's funny, all these things that were injustices that I filed away in my file cabinet years ago, some recent that I just keep pulling back out, seeking justice. It's kind of fun. No, it's a lot of fun. Because it's all for him. It's not for me. It's for him. Just cleaning up some loose ends that I've discovered. I don't want to turn any more stones over. I got enough that I've, I've overturned that I need attention. If any man among you seem to be religious and brattleth not his tongue, but deceiveth his own heart, this man religion is vain. Pure religion and undefiled before God and the Father is this, to visit the fatherless and widows in their affliction and to keep himself unspotted from the world. My brethren, I'm going to keep going, chapter 2. My brethren, have not the faith of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Lord of glory, with respect of persons? For if there come unto your assembly a man with a gold ring, in goodly apparel, and there come in also a poor man in vile raiment, and ye have respect to him that weareth the gay clothing, and say unto him, Sit thou here in a good place, and say to the poor, Stand thou there, or sit here under my footstool. Are ye not then partial in yourselves, and are become judges of evil thoughts? Hearken, my beloved brethren, hath not God chosen the poor of this world, rich in faith, and heirs of the kingdom, which he hath promised to them that love him. But ye have despised the poor. Do not rich men oppress you and draw you before the judgment seats? Do not they blaspheme that worthy name by which ye are called? If ye fulfill the royal law according to the scripture, thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself, ye do well. But if you have respect to persons, ye commit sin, and are convinced of the law as transgressors. For whosoever shall keep the whole law, and yet offend in one point, he is guilty of all. For he that said, Do not commit adultery, said also, Do not kill. Now if thou commit no adultery, yet if thou kill, thou art become a transgressor of the law. So speak ye, and so do, as they that shall be judged by the law of liberty. For he shall have judgment without mercy, that has shewed no mercy. And mercy rejoice, rejoiceth against judgment. I'm not sure why my nose is itching all of a sudden. I feel like bewitched if I could just twinkle it, I'd feel better. For he that said, Do not commit adultery, said also, Do not kill. Now if thou commit no adultery, yet if thou kill, thou art become a transgressor of the law. Now, I know I read that, but it needs to be read again. So speak ye, and so do, as they that shall be judged by the law of liberty. For he shall have judgment without mercy, that hath shewed no mercy. And mercy rejoiceth, against judgment. What doth it profit? My brethren, though a man say he hath faith, and have not works, can faith save him? If a brother or sister be naked, 
and destitute of daily food. And one of you say unto them, Depart in peace, be ye warmed and filled. Notwithstanding ye give them not those things which are needful to the body, what doth it profit? Even so faith, if it hath no works, is dead, being alone. Yea, a man may say, Thou hast faith, and I have works, shew me thy faith without thy works, and I will shew thee my faith by my works. Thou believest that there is one God. Thou doest well, the devils also believe and tremble. But wilt thou know, O vain man, that faith without works is dead? Was not Abraham our father justified by works when he had offered Isaac his son upon the altar? Seest thou how faith wrought his works, and by works was faith made perfect? And the scripture was fulfilled with which saith, Abraham believed God, and it was imputed unto him for righteousness, and he was called the friend of God. Ye see then how that works a man is justified, and not by faith only. Likewise also was not Rahab, the harlot justified by works, when she had received the messengers, and had sent them out another way. For as the body without the spirit is dead, so faith without works is dead also. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Well, stay tuned. I've got more coming up. Not sure what the next one is. So I'm going to read a little snippet and potentially upload some more. So I am in uh, November, and that was the 14th of November. So TikTok, I'm moving right along. Love to all bunches and bunches. Bye.